924 on the Sunday morning. Welcome back in. You know, we are on the heels of March and it is Women's History Month, the time when the achievements and leadership of women who built America are honored. So kicking off the month is a free luncheon at the University of Phoenix. Joining us now, the organizer of that event, Keila Hall. Thanks for being with us uh, bright and early on this uh, Sunday morning. <laughs> Thank you for having us. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. So talk to me about Women's History Month. You know, I know a lot of people say this is kind of like obsolete. It's not women. I mean, it's not necessary. Women are making strides every single day. Day. Why do you think Women's History Month is still so needed? Oh man, it's a great question. Women's History Month, outside of the historical context of the reason why women have paved the way for years and years and years, I mean today, the life that we're living today, when you look at women leaders like Carmen Best, Deputy Chief of Police, you look at women like Anita Crawford Willis here in our state that are paving the way, and I think that it's important for women of tomorrow to be able to see that. It's very important to see the visualization and see a person like you that you can aspire to be like. Yeah, I think it's very important. And so we do hear that's unnecessary, but then I would tell those people to come into my classroom at Bellevue College, meet some of those digital marketing students who are speaking about what they want to do in the future and how important it is to see women like you. Yeah. So you're putting this event together, um, and I know you're having a lot of guests. So kind of take us through what this uh, event is going to be like happening next Wednesday. Oh, man, it's going to be very exciting. I mean, when you come to the event, you can expect to see women leaders from across our state. You can see women leaders at, at Boeing and different organizations that are going to be talking about um, the importance of how women can rise um, in their career fields. Um, you can be able to take what, takeaways as far as um, what it's like to be able to um, sponsor other women in the workplace, the importance of recognizing the beauty and the power in other women. And so that's really gonna be the, the, one of the biggest takeaways is come to be inspired and to learn from other women that's already doing it today. Sure, and I've been to one of your events before. Yeah. I know that you guys, you know, you don't strive or you don't stray away from some of those important controversial topics, mm -hmm. uh, you know, with this political age that we're in right now. Is that going to play a role or politics going to be a topic that you discuss? Absolutely, sure. absolutely, yes. We have, um, you know, the mayor of Tequila and Kent and Renton will all be there. Mm -hmm. And we're going to we're gonna touch on those topics about what's happening right now today in our political climate. There's so much happening um, currently. And so we're going to talk about some of those issues about equity and pay, negotiating pay, and also being able to ensure sure that women have the same uh, the same opportunities as men and so that's what we're going to be talking about there we're going to have subject matter experts coming in from the military the Department of Veteran Affairs I mean we're going to have you there is it's just going to be really an amazing conversation and time for women to really be able to take everything put everything away and really think about how can you be able to rise and whatever it is that you're doing and also being able to recognize like I said the power in other women Sure. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's go through all the details yeah. here so people can come out if they yes, want to. Uh, who, what, where, when, and... Uh why? Why? So <laughs> University of Phoenix, they want to come out to the University of Phoenix. It's in Tequila, um, 7100 Fort Dent Way in Tequila. Next week from 10 to 2, we are pretty much at capacity. We are still allowing people to come in for our um, our other space um, to be able to come in and see the conference. But we are, we're filling up pretty quickly. We're going to be giving out um, free vendor space for women business owners. Everything's totally complimentary. And we really want everyone to come out. If they want to know more information, they can go onto Facebook and follow University of Phoenix Western Washington in or Katie Hall Foundation, or go to the website at www.katiehallfoundation.org and learn more about this conference. And we're hoping that people come out. And so we do have extra space, overflow space, where people can come in to be able to enjoy themselves that day. Okay, sounds like a great uh, time. I'm looking forward. I'll be emceeing that event. So hopefully I'll see you guys out there. If you come to the event, Kayla, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Thank you for having us. Of course, so much more to come.